one of the problems with the transition from GCSE to A level is that you go from doing loads of subjects to go and doing a couple of subjects or three subjects and I know you find this really really hard and I know you want to keep doing loads and loads of subjects but is four A levels really better than three A levels? I do not know of any university that insists on having four A-levels. So you may think having four A-levels looks impressive to universities, but really they're only looking at your best three. So if you think that taking four A-levels is going to get you a better chance of getting into university, into university, that isn't necessarily the case. If you think that doing four A-levels will give you more of a chance of getting a better grade, again, that isn't necessarily the case because A-levels are a lot of work. They are a massive, massive amount of hard work. It takes up so much time. For every single hour you spend in class, I would expect my students to be spending an hour outside of school, or in school during their study periods, doing work as well. So it's not just the time you have to spend in school, there's time outside of school as well. So the difference in work between 3A levels and 4A levels doesn't sound like a lot but it is a lot and you might find that doing 4A levels averagely when actually you could be doing really well at 3A levels sometimes focusing your efforts into fewer subjects is better for you than trying to do really really well in more subjects and just doing okay if you're not sure which three of your four favourite subjects you want to do, then maybe your school will let you do one of them as an AS. Maybe your school will let you drop one of them after, at the end of year 12 and take that as an AS exam. But do not assume that your school will do this because your school might be teaching things in a different order, which means that you can't do that. So do not start for A levels, plan on dropping one, but not tell your teachers that you're doing this, okay? Just make sure that if you start with that as your intention, that this is an actual option for you to do, because it's not always going to be the case. So I know this is really, really hard set of decisions for you. Um, and I know loads of, you, loads of you want to take four A-levels, but it isn't always the best option for you. The best people to take four A-levels are going to be your, your really, really top-end students. And even then, they are going to struggle with the massive, massive workload. If you're not sure about taking four A-levels, um, or if you think you might struggle, talk to your teachers, the people that actually know you. They'll be the ones to advise you best. Um, but four A-levels isn't always better than three A-levels.